Well, hello and welcome to the Buckers Mead Open Evening event. My name is Alan Williams and I lead the Midsummer Norton Schools Partnership. And those of you who've been following what's going on at Buckers Mead will know that the school has joined uh, my trust. A little bit about the trust, we're 28 schools. Um, quite a few of those are secondary schools and we have a great track record in supporting schools that have found um, the last few years a little tricky to become very good schools again. The good news for you as parents is that Buckers Mead is already making fantastic progress. I've been deeply impressed, as have other colleagues, uh, when they visited the school, not only by pupil behaviour, but also by the quality of learning that we've seen um, over the visits uh, and the time that we've spent there, both in lessons and outside of lessons. So I suppose the good news for you um, is that somebody external and other groups of professionals are coming in to support the school, to continue its rapid improvement, but it already is in a good place. So I hope very much that you will consider Buckler's Mead as a, a really um, key choice for your children next year um, when they start their secondary school journey. Uh, I was hoping to be there in person, but because of COVID and so on, I've had to make this short recording, uh, but I've no doubt that I'll meet many of you um, over the course of the coming years. I'm gonna hand over now to um, Mr. Lawrence, who is the substantive and permanent head teacher now at Buckler's Mead, so that he can tell you a little bit more about the actual school and the good work that's being done there. Thank you for listening, and I hope that you have a really exciting time uh, looking around the school, either physically or virtually. Hi there, my name's Mark Lawrence. I'm the head teacher here at Buckler's Mead Academy. And this is a short video that will take the place of the head teacher's presentation to parents at open evening. I've both spoken to Public Health England this week who've advised me against doing an assembled group of people in the hall, but have advised it is perfectly fine for you to all come on school site and visit the various different departments across the academy and to see what is on offer. Unfortunately, due to COVID, we've got a number of staffing issues in the technology, science, and drama areas of the school and so they won't be doing the normal displays that they would normally do. However, you should still get a good feel about Buckler's Mead and what it has to offer for your children. In the last two years there have been a huge number of changes at Buckler's Mead Academy. Me and my team have worked really really hard to make a difference to the students who come through the academy. We've made many many changes. Those changes include introducing what we call Read to Succeed. Reading is a priority for here, here for us at Buckler's Mead. And we ensure that each student is read to, reads aloud and reads in silence each and every day. And we've selected a set of books that are really beneficial for each student to read in each year group. We've introduced a student support base in the centre of the school so that any student who has any problem during the school day can go and see a non-teaching member of staff and ask for help and advice, whether it's around homework, contacting home, medical, first aid, lost PE kit, any other issues, they can go and see a member of student support who is there to help them. We've reviewed our curriculum to ensure that the curriculum we offer is now broad, balanced and sequenced. And we've reviewed our behaviour policy and made a number of changes to that. Each and every lesson now follows what we call the learning cycle, a systematic way of ensuring that students are learning and learning deeply in each and every lesson. We've also made changes to the premises and various other changes around the site. One of the key things that I really wanted to do when starting this role in the school is to ensure that this is an academy where the standards are sky high. We should be expecting the very best for our students to get the very best out of them. These children only get one chance of education and it's down to us to get it right. I firmly believe that each and every student, each and every child deserves to learn in an environment that is calm, orderly and respectful and that every teacher has the right to teach in those conditions as well. And with that in mind, we've introduced a very formal registration system every morning 
where uniform is checked, equipment is checked and the register is done and each tutor checks that the student is ready for the day. We've introduced something called STARS, which ensures every lesson starts in the same way. STARS stands for stand behind your chair in silence, your teacher focused, all equipment is out, ready to learn, and then you sit down and start what we call the connect task, which connects the learning in that lesson back to previous learning. It's been really, really nice recently to have had some positive feedback from external visitors around exactly what we've been doing. Our most recent Ofsted monitoring visit in February 2021 included the lines, leaders have high expectations for all. You've been ambitious and you've broadened and strengthened the curriculum. And more recently, a couple of weeks ago, Morris Hicks, a former Ofsted inspector, came in to visit the academy and said the following, there's an appropriately high staff profile across the site. Interactions between staff and students were positive and respectful. There was a calm and orderly atmosphere throughout. Student behaviour was consistently good in all areas observed and staff intervention was not required. BMA, Buckler's Mead Academy, has high expectation for pupils' behaviour and conduct. These appear to be commonly understood and applied consistently and fairly. For example, school uniform was very close to 100% consistently in place and the few minor transgressions were quick, quickly addressed without complaint. Routines and expectations are understood and accepted as non-negotiable. No students were seen to be wearing trainers in place of school shoes. No student mobile phones were observed at any stage during the day. Students were cooperative in classes. STARS is now an established routine used consistently and part of staff and student expectations. This was having a positive effect on settling classes and focusing students at the start of each lesson. You will also probably be aware that we have recently joined the Midsummer and Autumn Partnership School. Accompanying this video, there will be a further video from Alan Williams, the CEO of the Trust. Midsummer and Autumn Partnership is a trust that contains a number of secondary schools who are all really successful. And in joining that trust, we will be getting yet more school improvement support to make sure that students here are really, really successful. It is our aim to provide an inspiring education for all the students that come here. Through a strong sense of community, whether that means a tutor group, a year group, the community for the school in general, the community in terms of our neighbours and our families, the community coming together as one to provide a really good education. Alongside that, the opportunities that we offer. If your son or daughter is interested in technology, drama, music, art, PE, all of those opportunities are here at Butler's Mead so that we can ensure that students enjoy school, enjoying every day and making the most out of every day while they're here in the academy and ultimately that leading to being successful. Success in the classroom, on the sports field, in the drama hall, in technology, wherever it may be, being successful and then ultimately getting success in exams and going on to a successful and happy future. Thank you very much for taking the time to watch this video. This is an academy that is on a very, very rapid improvement journey. We've made a number of improvements so far that are really making a difference to the feel of this academy, the culture of the academy and the education the students here are getting. And that's all about our high expectations. I look forward to meeting you on the evening. If you want to talk to any member of our team, please just contact the office and someone will happily phone you back. And like I said, we'll be around this evening to meet you and greet you and answer any questions you've got. Thank you.